Hello, it's Marvel here with this week's IT Services uh, update. We've just taken delivery of our ACC, something we've been looking forward to for a long, long time. We ordered these just before December, and as you know, there's been such demand worldwide for these units that uh, it's, it's taken almost three months to get there. But uh, we're not disappointed. So, Richard, um, screen if you want to go faster, because I understand the, the speed test has been quite impressive. Richard? Yes, welcome to the lab, Martin. You're just in time for us to do a live demonstration uh, of booting up on the Toshiba and on the Asus. So here we go. Let's okay. see which uh, gets to the login screen first. This is a R400 with 2 gig of RAM, um, 1.86 duo core processor, all the trimmings specifically designed to work with Vista. This is the Asus EEPC, um, a quarter of the price, or a third of the price? Roughly a third, yeah. Roughly a third, and almost uh, a third of the resources. And we have a screen. Um, let's see if I can get the Vista the just uh, detected that it's got a hard drive. It's still, it's still, <laughs> it's still rooting. Of course, the ACC is all um, flash, isn't it? It's all, it's all solid state, so it hasn't got to spin anything up. So, it's, it's, it's pretty, um, pretty impressive. Okay. Just checking the wireless connection. Yeah, we have wireless connection. It's going through the new Aruba guest access point, so um, anyone coming into the college can connect this way. We can have a look at the uh, Vista machine. It appears to... Okay, look, just we've got an icon. We've got the cursor. It's appeared. I think the Microsoft logo should be zooming into detail soon. And uh, I'm ready, ready to, to log, log on. I'm ready to log on here. So you actually, you are in fact on the net, you just have to log into our guest portal, but you're already on the net and uh, just about to start work. And um, on the Vista machine, you still haven't had a chance to log on to the machine yet, which uh, it, it's quite uh, quite extraordinary. Now we're thinking of using these ACES E's um, for our students. Um, we've got a choice here whether we provide them with Vista, Microsoft or XP machines, or these new much cheaper, much faster I'm on uh, my Google home page. From there I can get to my Google Docs, uh, my spreadsheets. And if I close that, I can show you that this is the interface that the EEPC gives you. You've got large icons for all of the main things that you'd want to do. It's kind of designed so that primary school kids can use it. So it'll take you about 30 seconds to work out what you're trying to do. If you want to go to Wikipedia, click on Wikipedia. And there's Wikipedia for your research. Um, across the top of the, the screen there are different tabs. So there's Internet, Work, Learn and Play. So if you've got documents that you need to work on, go to the Work tab. And there you've got spreadsheets, presentations, documents all waiting for you. And they all open. Um, well, it's still open faster than uh, Microsoft Office. Can we just um, go back to... <laughs> I'm still waiting for the login box here. We're still waiting for the Vista machine to start up. In fact, um, I think we're going to have to pad this uh, interview out, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, we're not going to get to the point where I can even start work. So, so Richard's been on the internet. He's uh, looked at Wikipedia. He's opened Google Docs. Um, he's opened Office, Open Office. It's the, um, the um, open source version of this, isn't it? Um, it's interoperable with Microsoft Office Word. We've got the spreadsheets, presentations. I sent one to myself and opened it with Office Word. So we, we don't seem to have any compatibility issues here at all. We've got, um, we've got internet access uh, for um, full online model, and we've got uh, the local model with Open Office as well. Um, these machines only got four gig of RAM, so we will de be dependent on using the cloud for storage, for resources, and for um, USB sticks for, for local storage. Well, I, th I think um, I might have a quick walk down to the design team and see what Penny's got to say about these units. The, the Vista machine still hasn't got us in, and uh, Richard's still having to play with this. I and mean, you can see these little Asus E's have got uh, a nice little webcam. So we're going to have a look at me looking at myself in a minute. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> there you go. <coughs> Infinite regression. Okay, infinite regression on, to, on an ACC. Um, the infinity of Google awaits. Now, um, if I walk down, I might be able to just catch the design team. I've got an interesting blog coming up um, for them in the future. But uh, Penny, hi Penny. The ACC. We, uh, Penny's been having a, a quick look at the ACC. Um, she's really 
very concerned uh, or interested in the, the teaching, the pedagogical aspect of this because uh, Richard with his white coat on is very interested in the technology in particular but his, Richard's doing a teaching qualification now as well so we're all interested in that and I used to be a teacher of course once and uh, Penny, what do you reckon about these nice little units? So you've got one here, you've opened it. I have, has a look quite easy to use. The interesting thing about this, Martin, is that um, the minute you are giving a device with, which gives access to the internet to students in a classroom, you're actually giving them access to the world of information. So it could change the face of teaching and learning in terms of if a teacher's doing uh, a normal lesson and says, right, everybody, um, someone give me the answer to this, they can sit there, Google it, and reply. So there are uh, things to think about. We're looking at, at devices like this, but st all students have mobile phones. On my rubbishy mobile phone, I can take pictures, I can Google, I can email, whatever. So they actually have devices that have access to um, the internet already on them. And of course, this video blog is um, made by a mobile phone, in fact. That's true, that's true. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank, thank, thank you very much, Penny. That's, that's wonderful. And uh, we're not sure where we're going with this because it's all brand new. So we're kind of, it's an experiment and uh, it's an unknown path. But uh, it looks very, very interesting. All the, all the things you've read about the OCC, they seem to be true. We're very impressed. Okay, bye.